plaintiff Laura Costin Luce started dating the defendant after they met online, and she claims it was a whirlwind romance. However, Laura says the romance only lasted three weeks because the defendant was constantly asking her for money, and she's suing him today for unpaid loans. Defendant Kenneth Hicks says from the time he met Laura, she wanted to have sex with him, but he insists he never took their relationship to that level. Kenneth claims Laura once gave him a massage with bacon grease, and during the massage, she took her top off and tried to seduce him, and he denies owing her for anything. Start with you. Okay, I met this gentleman on Match.com on March the 6th. Uh, it turned into kind of a fast and furious romance. Everything progressed very quickly. The first time I met him, he gave me this penny with, it has, actually has a heart out of the center. And he said he wanted to give that to the person that would fill the hole in his heart. And he also gave, I know, oh, that's right, oh, that's right. Then he also gave me the silver cross that said, God, God loves you because he was talking about, you know, his strong Christian faith, so. You st between, still seem impressed. Well, I, well, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not anymore. Well, I was wondering. I was, but go ahead, I'll let you, well, maybe I mean, I'm I was wrong. impressed when I first met him. He, he's good looking, he's very charming, mm -hmm. and we just had like, we had, so I thought. You should look ugly by now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. Yeah, I, maybe he didn't beat you out your money. Go ahead. So, um, how was your relationship? The relationship was very romantic. It got sexual very quickly. I met his mother, I think within the first week or 10 days. He talked to my mother on the phone. He was spending the nights with me. We were uh, having dinner together. It was like he just basically moved. How long did you all stay together? Not long. This is a three week whirlwind. How did it end? Why? He started asking me for money too much. How often? Uh, the first time was he was in trouble. He lost some money, and it was the first week, and he... First um, week that you all were together. The first week. He dropped his wallet. It had cash in it, and he freaked out that it had $200 cash. He canceled all his credit cards. He said he was using that money to pay his phone off, and if he didn't pay it that day, it was going to be turned off. And he wouldn't be able and to talk to you. he seemed desperate, so I said, I will help you, but I will put it on a credit card, but you have to promise to pay me back. And he goes, thank you, thank you. You know, you're saving me. My phone's not going to be turned off. So I have, this is the statement from that. And then two weeks after that, he sent me some texts and said, that he was kind of in a little bit of a you know, situation that he was behind on some bills, and could I please help him out? And I said, I'll, you know, we'll talk about it tonight when I get home from work. So that's okay. when... Let me hear from you, sir, before we get further into her details. Give me some background. Well, my name is Kenneth Hicks, and Yana, this is about sex and bacon grease. That's what this is about. And what? Bacon grease. Bacon grease. <laughs> what sex and bacon mean? grease. What does that mean? Um, I met Laura on March 6th, like she said. When I first met her, she pulled a chicken bone out of her purse with, it was a wish bone. She said, let's make a wish about our relationship. I should have thought something was weird at that point. Did you give her that heart? I did, I had it in my wallet and I gave her the cross because that's, that's I am strong in my faith. No, so. but the heart. Heart, yeah, yeah, I showed it to, to her. To fill a hole in your she heart. She said that she could probably fill it. So I'm okay. thinking, okay, we'll see. That's not true. So, well, Go ahead. she got it, so. Um, uh, she kept wanting to have sex with me. Um, I wasn't ready. We had talked about this several times. I just got a relationship. That is, the, that's a lie, Your Honor. Let I'm me sorry. Finish, man. So I got out of a relationship with another female that I was engaged to, so I was still emotionally wasn't there. Mm -hmm. I just wanted somebody to hang out with. She was mature. And um, uh, make a long story short, you were dating, I obviously. I'm sorry. You, you were dating? Uh, at the, no. No, Why I are you giving something about filling a hole in your heart? Oh, that's what I told her. I that's mean, I was looking for somebody. Lie. I wasn't dating looking at that time. Looking for somebody to date. No, you were dating her. No, 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 we weren't dating. I that's had never a lie. had sex with that woman. I didn't ask you about sex. I have, I have never. You sound like Bill Clinton. <laughs> I have never had sex with that woman. I've, the bacon grease. Uh, I was stressed. I did tell her I was. you saying that? You, huh? What does that mean? You just you, you don't know how you sound. What does that mean? You're a bacon grease. But that means. <laughs> that, no, don't refer to yourself as no bacon grease. No, with no, this no, woman. no, no, no. What does it mean then? Obviously, let me explain to you. Um, I was stressed. You're embarrassing one day. me now. What? <laughs> What, sir? What does it mean? I, Let's get past that. I, I was I'm stuck on that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I get to it. She was gonna give me a massage and she used bacon what? grease to give okay, me a massage. Okay, all right. <laughs> what? Well, 
smell like thank you. Well, then say and that. I knew it was bacon uh, grease. It smelled like bacon grease. And at that time, you know, she took off her top trying to seduce me with some freaky bacon grease. So um, I got up and I told her I wasn't ready for that. So she said if she wondered if I was gay because I wouldn't pay her no attention. And I told her I'm just emotionally not there. You know, so... But you um, did was, date. You gave the woman a uh, heart saying, uh, you can fill this hole in my heart. You hung out with her how, how often, how long? A couple of weeks. All right, what did you all weeks. do? What were you Three trying weeks. to uh, evangelize? I was, <laughs> did you invite her to church? I was praying for her. Yeah, I was. I was trying right. to pull her yeah, in. Yeah, I know you were praying. Never mind. <laughs> Let me move on. I'm sorry, Lord. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, at that time, she told me um, we can go downtown and watch it was this Gen Con type thing. They dress up as characters. And she said we can go down to her friend's house who has a condo. I'm thinking it's a female friend's house we're going over to. And they weren't there. So I go into the house and it was a guy's pictures everywhere. And I'm looking like, OK, this is a guy's house. So I asked Miss Lauren about it. And this is a guy she used that's to date. Line. So I'm inside of a guy's house that she used to date that's in the military. And that's basically How about asking her for money within a week of meeting her? I did. I was, uh, she offered, I told her my situation. I was uh, going through a tough time. She uh, offered to do it. And you I. You dry begged her. No, I didn't dry beg her. Why are you telling her your tough times? Because she what? wanted me to open up, because I was, I was kind of holding the body in. And that's what you focused on opening up, is about your money. I think, what about I'm this? I'm short is on my phone up? bill. And unless I, you keep my phone on, I won't be able to open up and talk <laughs> and tell you my problems. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. And so you borrowed how much that time? Two hundred dollars, as she says. I think that was one seventy at five. All right, and that's what this says. One seventy. It was one seventy. And when did you agree to repay her that? I didn't agree to pay her that back. Your Honor, it, I have a promissory note where he does agree to pay it back. Let's see that, please. That and the other amount that I lent. I don't have no bacon grease on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't keep grease bacon down. grease in my house. He's crazy yeah, about the bacon grease. He's put crazy that about bacon a lot of this. grease down. Oh, hey. It's a new way of doing things. <laughs> Sir, you've signed this. Uh, the note, when I. <laughs> I signed it out of distress. Um, I didn't even read it. I look over, she was what complaining to someone. Uh, Try to keep that hot grease off of you. <laughs> <laughs> what distress, sir? I signed it. The, before I signed it, she made a comment that, you know, she gave me the money and all that, that I would have to perform some sexual obligations. Oh, my um, God. That is... I didn't oh, feel comfortable with it, so I felt like she manipulated I, I don't feel comfortable with this line of conversation because you are a liar. Let me say a couple of things. He lied about what his, what his job was. He lied about how much money he made. He lied about his living situation. And you have been done nothing but lie here today. That's not true. That's enough. That's not true. I would never... Why would I true. Just, why would I disclose my, fi my finances? Why do I have clothes at your house? Why, why did you leave clothes would, at your house if we're just friends? Because I would stay there because my condo was getting ready. Where would so, you sleep? That is bull. That is bull. You told me you already had a, had an apartment. I would go back and forth. I had an apartment. I was moving when out. When you were at her house, where would you sleep at her house? I would sleep in the bedroom. And I had a guest bed, so if we were just yeah, friends... Yeah, she had a guest bed. I had my Why did you have to there? sleep in her bedroom then? Because we were a couple. We weren't a couple. <laughs> we, a couple. we were a couple for a couple of weeks. That's oh, what we were. We weren't a couple. I'm not going to let you make any more of a fool out of me or yourself. <laughs> or yourself. And you're making a bigger fool out of yourself. I'll grant you your judgment, ma'am. I have this in writing, but this amount that you are listing for interest is illegal. The reason why I, the reason why I put the trouble damages is I believe he never intended to pay me back. It's illegal, ma'am. Oh. It's an okay. illegal contract. You, you, that sounds like something the mafia would put down. In fact, it's more than the mafia would put down. The amount of 170, got that. And one second agreement at four hundred and thirty dollars. It was so. actually four forty if you look at the bank statement. No, I have to go by what's on here, ma'am. I, I have, have it. I have I the bank. I go by this. I go by this. This is what you all signed. Well, you you'd spend a lot of time with Mr. Hicks over there, Your Honor. I'm not spending I, any time with him. I didn't get a chance. You to spent give, time with him. To give you this. And he got your money. <laughs> what are you saying? I didn't get a chance to give you my bank statement, which shows that it was for 470. All right, and let me tell you, as a lawyer and okay. a judge, whatever you sign on the contract is binding, okay. not some something you got from your bank. Now, finish telling your story. Literally, the day after that was signed, he asked for more money again to get to move into the condo, 
And then after that I was done, he took his belongings out, he returned his key, and there was no just distress there. Three days after that, he sent me, he sent me a text saying, wow, it doesn't matter, you're gonna get all your money back. And I have that. All right, well, you've already uh, proved your case with the contract. Okay. Uh, and I'll grant you the $170 and then the $430 that you list as loans. Have a good day, Judge, for the plaintiff. This is, there you go. There, that's what you left behind, friend. She got that from the Goodwill somewhere. Uh, well, it looks like it's from the Goodwill, but that's all your she's stuff. She's a good person. Uh, I'm grateful for what she's done for me. She's a good person. So I want to leave it at that. <laughs>